This is the Uptick Network Stock Day Podcast, sponsored by InvestorsHangout.com. Penny stock news and interviews from the microcap world. Public information on OTC, pink sheets, and microcap stocks from around the world. With your host, Jason Blair. Today, we have a very special guest. His name is Chuck Provini. He is the CEO for NatCore Technology Incorporated. They're trading on the OTCQB under the ticker symbol NTCXF. Chuck, welcome to the program. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Excellent. Chuck, uh, I'd like to get into a little bit of uh, how you became the CEO of NatCore Technology and how you got into this business. Uh, well, that's a good question. Uh, my, my background uh, is not scientific. I got an electrical engineering degree from the Naval Academy, but all I do with it from time to time is change light bulbs. My, my background is almost exclusively on Wall Street. Uh, Brian London, um, who was a good friend of mine, got involved with a technology company, had difficulty negotiating a license agreement with the university, and needed somebody who uh, had a decent resume, cleaned up pretty good, and could negotiate the uh, license agreement. So um, I did that. Uh, I took two and a half years to do the due diligence on this technology. I didn't want it just to be a, a, a garage science project. And after two and a half years, I was convinced it was going to do a couple things. One, uh, do some great things for the world. And two, uh, make some money for the shareholders. Excellent. Excellent. So. You know, looking into your company here, you guys have made some really fascinating, you know, discoveries and developments into the solar energy field. Can you explain your NatCore foil cell technology and your black silicon technology? Uh, sure. Let me go back one second, though. What we did is we tried to gather around us some of the, the who's who in the photovoltaic area. And you look at the people who are involved in our company, and that's just who they are. Uh, there are people that, that ran huge research and development companies. We all got together in our Rochester facility, and I said, let's not tell us how great we are and how great our 60 patents are. <laughs> tell us what the industry needs and tell us what has the greatest, direct, most direct path to commercialization. And that's how we came up with these two particular uh, technologies that you described. Mm -hmm. Black silicon, which is in essence a... Uh, money saving situation with the uh, solar cells is a, it replaces the anti-reflective coating on the solar cell it uh, replaces two of the steps and based on uh, some uh, numbers from uh, the Department of Energy it'll save up to 20% on the manufacturing of a solar cell now the, the foil cell which is more of a efficiency uh, improving technology what we're doing there is we're taking the contacts, which are those stripes that you see on top of a solar cell, mm -hmm. where, and we're taking those contacts and we're putting them on the bottom of the solar cell to increase surface area, and we're also eliminating the furnaces that they use in order to put those contacts in, and we're replacing them with very precise laser uh, pulses. Okay. And while, while we were doing that, we discovered that by making those slight changes, we could eliminate the use of silver. So what we're doing is putting the contacts on the bottom, using lasers instead of the furnaces, which saves a lot of money and, and, and it's much more, uh, less, it's much less toxic, toxic. And then what we're also then doing is replacing silver with aluminum, which will dramatically reduce the cost. They're the two primary technologies that, that have made us, uh, you know, somewhat famous in the industry. That's incredible. And then, so this technology has got has led you guys to your best of breed program. Uh, I know that you guys are currently in Vietnam, Belize, and Australia. Can you expand on that a little bit of what your best of breed program is, how to come about, and and what your success is with this program? Sure. We're a small company, uh, but we've got some very, very, you know, high-profile technology, and as a result, we've received a lot of press. Uh, I was on Diane Sawyer, Fox News, front page New York Times, so a lot of press. So people would call us up, industry folks, and say, send us your solar cells, send us your solar panels. We don't have any yet. <laughs> so what we did, we, we, we had a lot of manufacturers who were very anxious to have us uh, give them exclusive rights to these technologies when they were developed. So we leveraged those, those, those relationships and said, okay, look, let's, let's create a consulting business that will create the best of breed. We've got no bias. We're not manufacturing anything. Mm -hmm. So if someone wants, to, someone wants to build a power plant, we'll go out, search, search the industry, find the very best inverters, the very best 
panels, the best cells that were that would be unique for that particular location, where whether it's Vietnam or Belize or, or anywhere. And, and, and the way we would get paid would be an engagement fee as a consultant and then some type of cost plus relationship. And then sometimes we actually share in the power purchase agreement, which is the actual electricity itself. And in exchange for choosing that court, we would then give to this facility some type of exclusive rights for their region as our technology comes down the line. And, and that would be the unique selling proposition and positioning for us uh, to, to select us in the best of, best of breed as compared to just any other consultant. Uh, any other consultant would basically come build your facility, then go down the street and build one for a competitor. Excellent, excellent. My guest today is Chuck Provini. He is the CEO for NatCore Technology Incorporated. They're trading on the OTCQB <laughs> under the ticker symbol NTCXF. Now, Chuck, a uh, little sidestep here. What was so attractive about Vietnam, Belize, and Australia to start the Best of Breed program? Well, um, I'd like to say we, we did a very thorough analysis and, and found that they were the best places in the world. But in reality, what happened was these are folks that found us, identified some of our capabilities, and contacted us. So we were approached by the developers in Belize, uh, uh, building a uh, large hotel area, uh, residences, houses, condos, uh, an international airport. They pay like 28 cents a kilowatt hour. They needed some alternative. Mm -hmm. They discovered us and said, can you make a proposal? And we did. Um, Vietnam is the same way. We... we, we uh, uh, we were approached by uh, the provincial governments there and said, look, we, we need some uh, electricity. We need uh, some solar. We don't know how to do it. Uh, you've, you've come to us highly recommended. Uh, so, so basically, we, 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 were, we were found out by both of those three, three countries, the third one being Australia, uh, predominantly because of uh, you know, the, the high profile we have because of our technology. Excellent. Word of mouth works on a global scale, I guess, in this case. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> so looking over the books in the last three years here, I showed that so far, NACOR technology hasn't uh, been reporting any revenues to date. But I, I hear you guys have uh, some plans for this best of breed that's going to generate some revenue in the future. Is that correct? I think our first revenue, based on what's happened so dramatically in the best of breed will come from the best of breed program. Um, again, what we, our sources of revenue for that would be uh, at, once the final contracts are signed, we would get some type of an engagement agreement. Uh, we would get some, uh, some type of cost plus uh, from the projects we're building. And like I said, often we would share in the, in the power purchase agreement. Uh, we, also, we also think that we're close to revenue in our technology. Uh, with our technology, we would get a licensing fee for someone to use the technology. We would get some type of uh, uh, residual uh, on, on what happens uh, with the uh, technology as it's being used. For instance, uh, if we save you 20 percent, uh, we would like 20 percent like of that 20 percent savings. Uh, if we increase your efficiency by 20 percent, we would want some percentage of that 20% increase, uh, so we would we would get a, um, a residual income from that, mm -hmm. um, and then and then finally, uh, uh, you know, we, we would dovetail that into our best of breed programs. That's exceptional. Uh, again, my guest today is Chuck Provini. He is the CEO for NatCore Technology Incorporated. They're trading under the OTCQB under the ticker symbol NTCXF. Chuck, uh, wrapping up today here, was there any more information you'd like to get out to our listeners before we conclude our, our interview today? The, the only thing that uh, I think is, 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 is really worth saying is that what we're finding out is that most of the people that contact us about solar are people and companies and countries that are not involved in the solar industry to begin with. These are people who are new entries into it. And the benefit and the advantage that they have is that they do not have to retool based on equipment and technology that's 15 or so years old. China had subsidized the solar industry for years. If someone was going to make a $250 solar panel, the Chinese government would give the manufacturer back $150. Wow. Just like any, just like any other artificial subsidy, they don't last forever. Uh -huh. China ran out of money. They, they stopped subsidizing the industry. And because of those subsidies, the industry is using technology that's 15 years old. 
So the people who are entering into this business now are people who don't have that burdensome old technology, and they're going to they're going to they're going to benefit from the new technology um, and uh, and the lower cost of solar right now. Most of the most of the solar expansion in the world are from people who are not doing solar right now. Exceptional. Netcore Technology Incorporated is our guest today uh, with Chuck Provini, the CEO, as, a, as its representative. Netcore Technology is a solar research and development company that is you know, paving the way for advancements in the solar industry field. Chuck, it's been an absolute pleasure to have you on the show today. We would like to check back with you here in a couple months just to see how well the Best of Breed program is go doing and how well that your company is doing as well. Uh, th again, thank you for coming on to our show today. Thank you for having me. <laughs>